Hey guys, Jack Spearco here. I want to do a quick video for you uh, about the Brave Browser, the free token giveaway, where they're giving away bat tokens, and how you uh, set you to, to donate to sites with your Brave tokens that you want to contribute to. It's actually pretty easy, but um, you'd think they'd have a tutorial like I'm about to give you, but they don't. I guess they're spending all their time coding on the browser instead of uh, providing tutorials. Well, once you have the Brave browser installed, I mean, if you use Chrome or Firefox, it's it, you'll know what to do with it. It's a, it's a typical browser. But you'll get into all your little <clears throat> nifty settings and stuff with this little three hash mark right there up in the corner. And when you click that, I'm on my Mac, so it's going to say Preferences. On, a PC, on the PC version, it'll say Settings. <clears throat> Either one will bring you to the same place. <coughs> Excuse me. And this is where you do all your settings, your security set, settings, and all that stuff. What you want to do is go to Payments, and if you've not played with it before, it'll probably be set to Off. So turn them on, and if you downloaded uh, the Brave Browser before or during um, the, the, the Million Token Giveaway, you should be able to claim your 10 bat. I got ahead of myself and didn't show you exactly how to do it, but when you turn the Payments on, you should see a place somewhere here to claim your funds. Um, if you've had it on, you might see a gazillion sites down here. When I turn my other computer on that I use more often, there was like 150, 200 sites with me auto-contributing to them because it defaults to this auto-include, and you see where that says auto-include right there? If you turn that off, you have to manually add sites, which I can no longer figure out how to do. It's like during this giveaway and this big promotion, they took away that you have to leave it on auto-include. So that means it's going to include every single site that you visit uh, based on your settings. But what you can do is you go right there, see that little settings thing? Click that. And then you can say, well, how long do, do I need to be on a site before you consider it a visit? And you set it to one minute, and how many visits before you consider the site relevant? So I'm going to say 10 visits. So if I don't visit a site at least 10 times, uh, don't add them. And if I'm not on the page at least one minute, don't count it as a visit. You can set this wherever you want. Notifications, I think that'll tell you, again, I'm new to this too, when they've added one. This right here defaults, allow contrib contributions to non-verified sites. What that means is you'll be donating BAT tokens, if you do this, to sites that have not yet set up as a Brave publisher, so that money will be basically sit there in escrow waiting for them to claim it someday. Um, you can do that, or you can choose not to do that. That's up to you. I'll tell you what Brave's doing here. They're setting it to, you know, the minimum settings so that everything gets added. This is actually kind of brilliant on their part. So that there'll be thousands of very high-end sites out there with a whole bunch of back tokens sitting in escrow. All they got to do is claim them. Brilliant. Uh, and then allow contributions to videos. If you click that, it will allow contributions to video creators. Now, one of the things I have to figure out is I've gotten certified as a publisher for my website right here, the survivalpodcast.com. I have many websites. i got to figure out how I can add more. And I have a YouTube channel. And it asks you when you sign up as a publisher, are you a creator uh, on YouTube only or do you have your own site? Uh, I'd like that all under one umbrella. I've reached out to Brave. I hope to have them on the show for an interview soon and maybe we'll get some answers to that. But, you know, it's up to you whether you want to allow contributions to videos. Personally, I've decided I am not going to contribute at this time anyway to non-verified sites. So I'll have to visit your site at least 10 times, and I'm going to drop that to 5. I can always come in here and, and turn them off. And I'm going to say, yeah, I'll put you on there if I'm on for uh, one minute. I'll, I'm going to stick with one minute. And you can back up and recover your wallet here. Now, one very important thing, I'm about to tell you how to put money into your Brave wallet for this purpose, which is contributing to websites that you want to support. If you put money into this wallet, you can't get it back out. Right now, this wallet is unidirectional. That means only put small amounts in, and then you can set your budget and what have you. Now, since this isn't the computer I mainly use, my account balance was zero when I turned it on this morning until I claimed my free 10 BAT tokens. Now, if you have more than one computer, you can set up multiple browsers and claim them everywhere, but I think the promotion's over. I think you have to already have them installed. I went to check my MacBook, and when I turned the payments on, it had some long sync process going on. They'll let you have two personas, so you don't have to even cheat. You can have two computers that you're syncing your data back and forth with, and you can still get 10 bad tokens per um, per computer. So you get 20. Uh, what does bat mean? Bat is basic attention token, and their long-term plan is this. Users will contribute to sites, but 
advertisers' budget, some of it will go to users who agree to see ads. We'll get into that in a later video. Here's where you can set your monthly budget. You can set it to whatever you want. Uh, and you can also control that by how much you put in. So if you don't want to set it as high as 25 bat for a month, uh, you can uh, just not put that much in. And that's how you can go below what they're allowing. Again, they seem to be kind of sneaky right now with what they're doing, trying to get a lot going on. If you want to add funds, you click here to add funds. You decide whether you want to do Bitcoin, Ether, Bat, or Litecoin. Guys, I'm, I'm real serious about this. I think if we're going to use a platform, we should use the native token as much as we can. So if you have Bat, use Bat here. Uh, Bat is very inexpensive, and it's, it, it, you know, I think they're going to convert these to Bat when they're given out to publishers. But why not, if you want to support what Brave's doing, use the Bat token. So you click here, it'll give you an address you can either copy and paste, or if you're using like the Jack's Wallet or something like that, that has Bat token support uh, with your, your mobile device, you can just scan that QR code and deposit it into your account. That's all you got to do. And that will have then money in here. And as you visit sites, once you visit them enough times that they qualify for whatever threshold you set, you, you set, you'll see them sitting down here. Now, what if a site shows up here and you just don't, like you were on that site to do research or something, you do not want to contribute? You'll see a little button, you can toggle them on or toggle them off. Uh, but again, I think if you set your auto include up to, you know, like five to 10 visits, uh, you're not going to have a lot of sites showing up here that you, you don't really visit very often. I'm actually going to set mine to 10. I want to support the people that I spend a lot of time on. So there you go. That's how you set it up. Again, I didn't show you how to claim your tokens, but if you go into this payments tab, you, it should be really obvious to you what to do when you get in there. And again, um, it defaults to this auto include. My other computer I had been playing with Brave on, and it's the computer I use all day. There were hundreds of sites, and the only way I could get rid of them, there's a little delete icon. I just sat with it at the very bottom of the list, and I just sat there, tap, 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 tap. It took about it took about 10 minutes to get rid of them all. But now that I know what's going on, I've got my thresholds higher, uh, I'll be using the Brave platform to contribute to the sites that I love, and I encourage you to do the same. Uh, and then if you're contributing to somebody's site, or if you, like if you, you see that they're not a, um, a verified site and you want to contribute to them, reach out to them. You know, one way you can do that is allow contributions to keep an eye on stuff. And when you toggle that off, the ones that are not certified will go away. So if you have a site you want to contribute to and they're not certified, get out, get in touch with them and let them know about it. Because uh, that's how Brave's going to grow. I really like what Brave's doing here. Um, I mean, I really like what Brave's doing here, guys. Uh, this is brilliant. Because what's going to happen is you're going to have tons of publishers out there with websites. They're going to have a big balance full of Brave tokens that they can either use as money or they can put right back into the Brave ecosystem and buy advertising with from advertisers from, from, from advertisers who can reach the people that trust them. This is, this is really innovative. It's why I've been on the Brave uh, train since the very beginning. I got in after the ICO at about $0.10. Cents. I'm holding about 3000 bat. And I'm um, watching the balance during these corrections, and I may be adding more. Anyway, I hope that is helpful to you, and uh, we will uh, catch up with you later.